Hey everyone, welcome back to my 1022 Zero Day Hero build. Sorry for the delay in videos, it's been a rough summer and uh, fall. I had to put my older dog down, I got a new puppy, and I've been pretty much working two jobs trying to uh, be overly productive, and uh, it's made these videos suffer. But yeah, today we're going to be adding a new butt stock. So I know if you've watched the past videos, I've complained about this mag pull stock. Um, not a huge fan, there's not a lot of adjustment, it's kind of wobbly, slightly wobbly, when it's locked it's not so bad. So this stock here is the XLR C6, and it's the stock I've been waiting for. I was waiting months to try and uh, purchase it. It was back ordered, they had production issues, they had parts issues, so I'm happy I got one. It actually sold out in the first day, I was just lucky enough to have checked the uh, webpage when it came up. but. It's going to be a short video today, we're just going to add this on and uh, go from there. There's not much that comes in the bag. You get the stock. I ordered a bag rider here, a tactical bag rider, and uh, the instructions, which are pretty simple. For those that want to look. So first thing I'm going to do is get this tactical bag rider on. There's actually two little set screws in there to protect the threads, I'm assuming. And I'm just going to hook up. Just like that. So here's those little set screws I was talking about. They're actually a Torx 9 and uh, the bag rider attaches with a 532nd Allen key. The rest of the install is pretty simple. I'm just gonna twist this off, put this on. Unfortunately YouTube doesn't allow me to show anything so I'll uh, be back in a second. So there it is all installed. I love the look. Um, it should be a lot more functional as well. I'm going to get this adjusted. I'm going to kind of open the back of my garage and look out into my yard and uh, just sit on the bench here and see if I can get a good feel for it. Okay, that's about it for today. I've lowered the uh, cheek rest down a little bit because uh, until I get some new uh, mounts for my scope, it's just way too low. And I uh, pulled this back a bit. And that should be about it. I can adjust more at the range. Um, but for now, that should be good. Thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing. In the last few months, views have uh, skyrocketed and uh, even subscriptions too, so thanks a lot. In the next video, which I'm actually probably going to film later today, I'm going to uh, replace the whole upper receiver, bolts, charging handle, everything. So it should be good. Thanks.